is the time of year when many people try to quit smoking. And many smokers are turning to electronic cigarettes, or e-cigarettes. When inhaled, these battery-powered e-cigarettes allow users to get nicotine without tar or smoke. But are they safe, and do they really help smokers quit? Here to talk about e-cigarettes and smoking in Hawaii is Pedro Haro. He is the spokesman of the Hawaii Tobacco Quit Line. Good morning, Pedro. Good Thank morning. you so much Happy for New joining year. us. Happy New Year to you, too. <laughs> And now we've been seeing uh, a lot of these e-cigarettes around, and uh, it gives smokers, you know, the ability to inhale and have that oral fi fixation. But is it really helping people to quit? Well, there's really not a lot of research that is available out there on the e-cigarettes. The FDA did issue a warning last year saying that they had actually found carcinogens and other deadly toxins inside of the e-cigarettes. So they're not safe to use. They're not being endorsed by the FDA. They're not being endorsed by CDC. They're certainly not endorsed for any type of cessation product. So they're not even regulated right now, even though they're sold widely on the Internet. They're currently in courts trying to bring the regulation over into the FDA, but nothing has been settled yet. What about smoking in Hawaii? Uh, how many people smoke here in the islands, and are the numbers going up or going down? About 15.4% of, of Hawaii residents uh, smoke currently. That has gone down dramatically over the last 10 years. In the last two years, we've seen that stall um, at about 15%. Um, there are services like the Hawaii Tobacco Quit Line that offers free nicotine patches and gum, which are helping people to, to move on. And these nicotine patches and gums, um, those are safe and those are regulated, mm -hmm. right? What's great about that is that they have been tested for many, many years. They have been seen across different types of populations, so you can be sure that they're, that they're safe. We offer, the free, offer them free at the Hawaii Tobacco Quit Line for people who call. I, I, do you have any advice? Uh, we're going to get to uh, more tips coming up after the break, but uh, what's the main advice that you have for people? I think the main advice is that never give up. There's always hope. It's a new year. Make that resolution to quit. Pick your quit date and stick to it. You know, there's the, also it's a relatively new smoking ban right now uh, where people cannot smoke uh, in buildings and, and near those public places. What have you been noticing? Have, have people really uh, been following the smoking ban or do they still disregard it? In, in large, most people have followed it without any sort of regulation or any sort of um, repercussions, um, f uh, financial repercussions. They have been following. I think, you know, we live in Hawaii. People want to People want to be friendly to each other. Even if, even if there wasn't the bans, I think that a lot of people don't want to smoke around other people because they realize that it's harmful. The Surgeon General has now said that uh, secondhand smoke is, can be deadly to anybody, any amount of exposure. So I think everybody's aware of that. And what would you personally like to see in terms of uh, cigarette smoking here in the islands? You know, what I'd like to see is I'd like to see anybody who's smoking right now to go 24 hours, to say, I'm going to make a pledge for at least 24 hours and let that be the first 24 hours for the rest of their life going smoke-free. And you can access the Hawaii Tobacco Quit Line at 1-800-QUIT now or clearthesmoke.org. All right, Pedro Haro, the spokesman of the Hawaii Tobacco Quit Line, thank you so much for joining us. Thank I really you. appreciate it. And coming up, we've got some quit smoking tips after traffic and weather on the fours. And one of the tips includes drinking a lot of water, and we'll tell you why this helps. And here's a live look at the traffic right now. Things looking wide open because of the vacation. We'll be right back. It is 6.09.